Mullen, there's going to be a film festival this weekend uh, because it's back for its seventh year and it starts this Thursday. It runs from Thursday until Sunday and I suppose what it... Well, amongst uh, what it does is it, it offers... A family entertainment at a crucial time because it's over the mid-term break and uh, Megan Harding from the committee it joins me now to tell me a wee bit more Megan thanks for coming in and uh, Mar- Mars is nowhere to be seen but yeah. sure you can, you can take that up with him yeah, definitely will. <laughs> Anyhow, he, uh, he couldn't get to be with us. But the um, the festival, since it started, it's it's grown sort of every year, hasn't it? Each year it's got better and the workshops are getting better and the kids are excited to get into them, so they're selling out quick. Yeah, good, good. Well, it's it's a good sign of a festival, I suppose, that, you know, from previous experience, then there's a greater demand the next year. Yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, it starts on Thursday, anyhow, and it's, it starts with, well, what else for a film festival but an Oscars party? But this is one with a different a difference because you get to dress up as a superhero. Yeah, it's really great. So um, the kids in the local primary schools and, and people throughout the community have made little films and they're shown on the big screen and it's very exciting because we actually have Karen Gorman from Karen Gorman cast and choosing best actor and actress. And, um, you know, there's all bits in the films and they come up and receive their awards or little Oscars and they're all dressed as superheroes. And That's great. It's yeah. great. It's great fun, great family event. And there's there's uh, there's other short films as well. I know um, uh, some of our Arthur Lynch's films will be shown. Is that earlier in the day? Yeah, and he he's actually showing some of his films in the Saint Vincent de Paul Centre as well. Um, it sounds really exciting. Some of the work he has done. He, he was talking, gives a wee intro about. I mean, the research and work he puts into it. It's mm. another level compared to some of our local attempts at filmmaking. Uh, absolutely, and it's a great social history into the bargain. Now uh, the bars and clubs. Our bars and restaurants, I should say, around the town are, are, are all involved, as you'd expect. And on Friday, there's a couple of screenings. Yeah, um, so on Friday, there's um, one in Anstad, the cafe, and it's a bit of a music quiz with live music and stuff. That sounds like it's going to be fun. Um, then in, in Bon and Boy in the restaurant, there's like a, a wine kind of um, well, it's a tasting, but also they're going to be blending the wines as well. And there's a film shown about like a con man that was involved in wine making, and you know, and then it'll be in for that. And also we, tie, to tie in with yeah that. the movie, and we had that a couple of years back, and it was really successful night, like, really good fun. So it's brought back by demand this time. Brilliant, brilliant. And there's a screening as well of um, Nothing Compares with the Chanel yeah. Connor film. Which yeah, is, beautiful is thing yeah. to watch actually. And on to Saturday and the action moves to Rathmullen House because there's going to be, well, again, some screenings but also some uh, masterclasses. Yeah, exactly. Um, a lot of things happening on the Saturday. There, um, well, I suppose like we've got the adult film making one, which is really good because the more adults that do that every year, the more submissions we get for our short movies, and you know it makes it really good. And this one year, thing leads to another. Yeah, it's, it spins off. And this year we have like the reason the kids are dressing as superheroes is because we're doing like a local legend, like your local hero is the like you know the theme that we've gone for and you know we have actually a lot of good history in Rathmullen and we were involved with the defibs in the town looking after the defibrillators and um, we actually found out that a guy that has a house there had invented one of the portable ones so we've made a wee movie about him wow. um, and then we made one with the University of Ulster um, and the cinematic arts team and we made one to promote where the defibs are in the town and how easy it is to use them and do CPR so what this is doing is it's showing how easy it is or maybe difficult it is to to make a short film yeah, difficult no, to make a, a really good one but y- it's, yeah. it's very easy to get the basics and that's what this is about yeah and I'm not great with technology but when they show you the little apps and the way you can do it it's great to just show up with your mobile phone yeah. and when they show you how easy it is you get involved the next year and you make a little film and you know, it's great too for people in business because you learn how to make small TikToks and videos and good tips and stuff mm-hmm. you know all for advertising as well mm-hmm. and uh, there, there's going to be uh, some short films shown by you know uh, those that are 
were good at it, uh, some students, film students. Yeah. And and then and, and then a panel discussion and uh, especially showing a fiddler on the roof. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, and local musicians involved with that too. So there'll be a bit of Irish music and stuff through it. So it's great to see it all come together. Great. And on Sunday, well, there is. I see there's a film treasure hunt. What does that involve? Well, that'll it'll be a bit of fun, and you know the basically it's the idea to get you out and about and you'll just there'll be clues and follow it around you can go as a family or a gang in the car you know have a bit of fun and go and around it'll be as much about local history as well be about exactly film yeah okay brilliant and there's a, a documentary as well about calm kill on sunday yeah that another one that'll be a good one to see like yeah. um yeah there's a lot happening and <clears throat> with as well i think the the polar plunge is a great one and for the special olympics and stuff we're doing that's as well on saturday that's yeah. going to be on the saturday at two o'clock yeah, yeah. And yeah because there'll be a lot of activity around that anyhow yeah um, given that it uh, had to be deferred so um so that's pretty big on saturday as well so um Plenty to uh, entertain and amuse and stimulate over the weekend in Rathmullen and uh, those workshops as well. I mean, I, I'm just looking down here. There's a, a special effects makeup and a screen printing workshop. That's on Thursday, actually. There's the, the star and f- filmmaking one on Friday and there's a, a flipbook animation and stunt acting one on Saturday. So plenty to choose from there, not just about yeah. making your short films. Well, my children done the you know, the special effects makeup one a few years back and at Halloween they're unbelievable making bullet wounds and scars and all the skills like they learn are brilliant. The stuntman workshop, unbelievable. The kids were making TikToks of falling and fake fighting and they just absolutely love it. But the star making one that Moira's doing is really good. The kids have done it through the school before and it's lovely, you know, it's like she's more into interior design, makes these lovely little stars. It's all crafts and all. It's a nice one as well and it's a way to stimulate the, the imagination oh, especially definitely. In, young, in young people as well okay and where can people get more information about what's on if they want to dip in and out of it over the weekend well there's a lot of the, our brochures around the shops but also um there's the facebook page as well for the rathmullen film festival um and also if they look up the rathmullen film festival website as well they should be able to find the tickets and all the details in the online brochure okay and uh, some of the events are ticketed yeah. 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 Okay. Best luck with it over the weekend, Megan. Thanks, man. Thank you very much.